Good morning, everyone. Uh, did you have a good old neighbor, Nick Hicks, and Frozen 2, and no time to die, and Avatar fans, and that one, yeah. And today is the Easter weekend. Tomorrow is going to be Easter, and I will do my Easter, uh, Easter haul of me showing what I got for Easter. And no, I'm not getting DVD, and no, I'm not getting Pussy Booth, The Last Wish, and all that, and all that DVD, because I have streaming service, and I watch movies and TV shows on streaming service right now, but, uh, but honestly, I'm still gonna keep my, I uh, keep my DVDs. Anyway, guys, so we'll go back to the Nettle Q&A. This one is Q&A episode 23rd. Anyway, guys, enough further to do. Now let's get this, now let's get this Q&A started. So I might watch the Super Mario Bros. movie on HE Today CC because I'm not going to see that movie in theaters because I stopped seeing that movie in theaters. But when Frozen 2, I mean Frozen 3 come out, I will go back to the movie field because I cannot miss based on my favorite movie of all time. So yeah. So hey guys, enough further to do. Now let's get this Q&A started, shall we? Because uh, because honestly, this Q&A, it's going to be the longest Q&A. Like, um, like, obviously, this Q&A is the most longest running series on my channel. So, so yeah, and people keep asking some ridiculous questions next to the one question we're going to talk about. I might stop doing Q&A because people... People keep disrespect my rule and keep um uh, keep asking me inappropriate questions, which is really disgusting. So yeah, so hey guys, enough further to do. Now let's get this Q and A started, shall we? So the question go to Hunter: What food are you planning to make someday? M my, I am, I am planning to make Cheetos measurey stick. Hmm, that looks delicious. But honestly. I really did not know what food I'm gonna make in the future, but I might make some hamburger helpful. Not mm, be some hamburger, uh, hamburger helper. Hamburger helpful. Mwah, chef kiss. I love the hamburger helper. It's so delicious. So the question go to VM opening, and this is hands down one of the most uh ridiculous question I ever, I ever heard by a human. He say this: Is the what we doing? Is a kids movie? True or fall? Definitely fall because I um. Definitely fall because I um be, uh, because honestly having uh having not even seen a movie this movie is red at all and that movie is not a kids movie so that's the that's a ridiculous question that is stupid anyway oh boy now we're gonna get to the stupid question did the scene it even happen in the movie number one Kristoff did rip his pants and frozen to the one scene when Kristoff is riding a reindeer is sin. Uh, thaw the forest and get caught on the on the bridge um causing his pants to tell this moment is play for a comedian acted and so you know what I'm not gonna answer this question because this question is stupid it's idiotic and so inappropriate it was no way in the monkey that <laughs> that um that Disney would have audacity to make Kristoff to rip his pants. That is really disgusting and nobody uh, that is really disgusting and nobody wants to see that. So I'm not gonna answer that question. So yeah. So yeah, I'm not gonna answer that question. That question is idiotic and stupid. Sorry I'd be mean, but um but honestly let's face it, uh, that question is idiotic and stupid. Now we're gonna get to the good question. I'm not gonna read that one question. So yeah, I'm not gonna answer that. Anyway uh, the question go to VM opening. He'd say this. Number one, what is your opinion on Frozen 2 and Enchanted being on Freeform? Number two, uh, what are you thought, um, what is your opinion on Prince Edward and Barbara Pimps and Enchanted and Disenchanted? Number three, what is your opinion on Pip and Enchanted and Disenchanted? Number four, what is the best film by elimination? Number five, what is uh what is your uh what is the best film, uh, made by Pixar? Number six, what is your um, what if Sony Picture Animation made the Super Mario Bros. movie instead of Elimination? Number seven, what if DreamWorks? Sorry about that. Okay, number seven, what if DreamWorks Animation made the Super Mario Bros. movies instead of Elimination? Number one, Frozen 2 airing on Freeform is the best thing ever. I cannot believe why they uh, they aired my family of all time. So thank you so much, Freeform, for doing this. It's honestly one of the best Christmas presents I've ever seen for Freeform. And Enchanted being on Freeform, honestly, guys, I do love Enchanted, but I think Ratatouille is a way better movie than 
and there's a chance it's because I was originally going to put a uh, put uh enchanted as my favorite movie from 2007 but the one user can uh cannot stop talking about this movie and now I'm going to answer this question but honestly guys enchanted being on free form Honestly, guys, I do remember watching Enchanted on Freeform last year, but apparently I actually fall asleep and I didn't even know the movie was over. Yeah, the movie's had some shorter one time, but the sequel has some longer one time than, than the, um, the first Enchanted. Number two, the great characters. Prince Edward is only one of my favorite performances I ever seen by him. Um, by the guy he um he was performed as Tom Adowski from Sonic the Hedgehog and Happy First Anniversary to Sonic or uh, Sonic Movie Two. Honestly, one of the best movie from the Sonic movies. So let's hope the third movie will be even better. And Robert from This Enchanted and Enchanted. On the guys and Enchanted um. Um, honestly, guys, and Robert from Enchanted, it's just like you, um, it's just like you kind of, of, of you, uh, typical, um, guy, like he, like he's, a uh, like he's a workaholic, so yeah, and this Enchanted, honestly, guys, they, um, they developed that, um, they, uh, they developed that character, um, really well, so I cannot wait to see him in the horror movie of the Thanksgiving, even I'm not a fan of the director who made the green, <laughs> so I got a call because I don't want to talk about that movie anymore, that movie is really disgusting, but honestly guys, let's hope that Thanksgiving horror movie would be even better than Freebird, like seriously, seeing a movie about, um, seeing a movie about Turkey, is taking Turkey off the menu, which is, which is really stupid, who in the white might want to see that? Anyway, number three, I think it's a really funny character in Disenchanted, but Enchanted, I do um, I do great characters, but Disenchanted is even better. But him, but him turning to a cat is really funny. Number four, well, uh, well, right now I'm just gonna say this book will be one. So let's hope the Super Mario Bros. will be, will be my new favorite elimination because of Princess Peach, duh. So, you guys, number five. Honestly, again, my favorite Pixar movie is had to be Incredibles 2. Incredibles 2 is easily one of my favorite Pixar movie. And screw people who hate the film just because they have a female empowerment. Every movie has female empowerment. Uh, what part you don't understand? Because, like the Super Mario Bros. movie, Super Mario Bros. movie have a female empowerment. Because Princess Peach is really good power. And I really. And I do. <laughs> And I do agree with that because Princess Peach kind of reminds me of Elsa. Mm, man, Princess Peach meeting Elsa. Uh, iconic. So, yeah, number six. That would be pretty awesome instead of Elimination because, honestly, guys, I'm probably the only fours. I'm going to have the Super Mario Bros. movie. It's had to be the fact that Elimination Wargo will have the stupid minion saying, Elimination! But, honestly, guys, I've been watching the clip on YouTube when the minions riding the Mario Kart, which is pretty, um, um, uh, which is the only good thing that women, um, that, that Minions ever did, but overall, Minions is really annoying. Number seven, that will, uh, honestly, guys, I am, I am not sure that DreamWorks Animation will make the Super Mario Bros. movie instead of Women Nation, because DreamWorks Animation is really taking Spider-Verse animation type, like the bad guys and Pussy Build the Last Wish, yeah, <laughs> yeah, honestly, guys, I just don't see that Joy Mug will make the Super Mario Bros. movie instead of Women Nation. So thank God Women Nation is not doing Spider-Verse animation. Even I love Spider-Verse animation, but on the guys, on the guys, I'm probably some people really love Pussy Boots the West Wish because of the animation. Even animation just don't fit at the move uh I mean as the movies. So yeah. So hey guys the question goes to Cree Studio. What is your opinion on the announcement for a new Women Nation film called Magalanos? I have no idea. But honestly, guys, I did watch the trailer on Women Nation YouTube channel. And that, uh, uh, on, um, 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 so, um, so anyway, guys, um, after I watched the trailer for that duck movie from Women Nation, and that movie works in promising, and that movie works way better, uh, uh, work like a way better movie than Scene 3. And I was made like seriously, elimination. Who in the white mind want to see Scene 3? Scene 3, uh, I mean, Scene 2 is absolutely garbage and absolutely stupid. And so immature for young kids. So, hey guys, the question goes to mature Frozen 2 fan. Number one, what is your opinion on American Psycho? Number two, Don on Encanto. And number three, what is your opinion on Lost from Uncharted 4? Number four, are you excited for Dune? Arcling the upcoming Dune based um Dune game based on the 2021 movie. Number five, what is your opinion on Baby Driver? Number one, I think it's honestly one of my favorite movies from two thousand because that movie is really scary, but in a um, but in a good way at the same time. 
and um and Christian Bell, he did a fantastic job as a villain in Milk and Psycho. And now one actor they um um they one actor that he was performed as Green Goblin from the Spider Man movie and um especially for Spider Man No Way Home, he did a really fantastic character. I do admit that. But honestly guy, he's uh, uh um so yeah. Number two, best animated film to the, um from two thousand twenty one. So I won't mind that film one for best animated feature film. But I'm probably some people really uh really did not like that the idea because people want the visual vision machine to win. Um, which honestly, guys, not every um not every movie that um that is your favorite have to win. That's not how it works. That's stupid. Anyway. Anyway, guys, and number three, I think it's a really awesome characters and. Uncharted 4, even I haven't played the game. Number 4, yes, I'm excited. Um, like, Doom game based on the 2021 movie, even I'm, a, um, even I'm a fan of a 2021 movie, because I do respect my teacher, Mrs. McDonald's opinion, because she said she watched Dune, and she, um, and she thinks, um, she thinks that movie was boring, and I do, I do kind of agree, because some movie, like Dune movie, is really slow, slow paced. But that, um, um, but honestly, that's, um, that's what the movie is all about. But do you think Dune Part 2 will be faster? Uh, no, the Dune Part 2 is going to be even longer. So, um, so what's so Dune Part 2, uh, would be like a three hour run time, which, um, uh, which honestly, which honestly, I won't mind it. Number five. Yes, I love Baby Driver. Baby Driver, I just watched a clip on YouTube when the villain John Hamm, and which one is the guy I was watching all the clip of John Hamm, like the SpongeBob episodes. Yes, people, he was in SpongeBob episodes. And he was in Top Gun Maverick, which is got um, which is hands down one of my favorite performances by him. And honestly, guy, um, 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 which one is the guy? And not not only in SpongeBob, he was in Shrek Forever After as the one character, which is really um. Um, which honestly, he did a okay, kill, uh, okay job, but I, I have never seen Mad Men, so I might watch Mad Men, even I'm a fan of John Hamm. Which honestly, guys, Baby Driver is easily one of my favorite car driver ever, and that movie works way better than the animated trash, which is another than Cars. The only Cars movie I enjoy is how to be Cars 2. I just don't even care about Cars 1 and definitely Cars 3. I just don't even care about Cars 3 at all. So yeah, Cars 3, overrated, Baby Driver, thumbs up. And the last question for today is how to, it has to be Super Mario Agassiz. So yeah, guys, he'd say this. Have you seen Scott Permanent vs. The War? Yes, people, I watched the movie, and that movie is so fantastic, and I cannot wait to see the anime the anime series of the original cast, like Michael Cera, Billy Watson, and Chris Evans. So yeah, guys, that was my Q&A episode 23rd, and this is the only video you're going to get, because I'm going to be pretty busy today, because I got to... I got Arby's birthday party to go to at the scanning link and, and number three and and um and number three I have my um my dad family coming over for Easter today. So yeah, and I and and after that and at night I'm just going to play with Chris tonight. So yeah, I just wanna spend time with my brother Chris instead of me going upstairs and do videos. That's not how it works. So hey guys, if you like this um if you like this QA, hit the subscribe button, turn the notification, and share this video with your whole family. And on Monday, stay tuned for my movie review on the Super Mario Bros. movie because I'm gonna watch the movie online tomorrow night or maybe tonight or maybe we'll see because I will be dying to see that. Dying to watch that film so badly because put uh, up because of Princess Peach, because of the Peaches song by Jack Black, which is really funny. So yeah. And so you guys, I, uh honestly guys, I just do not care. That song is on Apple Apple Music. Honestly, guys, do not listen to Peaches by Jack Black. Do not listen to that song because that song is a huge major a major spoiler from the Super Mario Bros. movie. And honestly, guys, I just went to it. I listened to it anyway because the spoiler um spoil um spoiler just didn't bother me at all. I just don't even care about spoil at all. So yeah, I just don't even care. So hey guys, and the worst question is has to be this um has to be this idiotic question. So yeah, I'm so yeah, like seriously, whipping your pants, that is really disgusting. Just no. 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 Just don't answer me that question ever again. Good day, so
And so, hey guys, I see you next time. And so long in Peachy Tooth. Have a great Easter weekend, everyone. And I see you guys next time. And I see you guys tomorrow. Doing so, I'm going to be pretty busy today. And stay tuned for my movie, a movie, a movie rant. I mean, how, uh, why I think Hop is a cinematic disaster. That movie is easily one of the worst Easter movie ever. Because the main reason why I want to redo that rant for the final time. Because I've been waging that rant. And Freeman have a problem with this. So... So, hey guys, stay tuned for my movie, movie review flash rant on Hop by Rumination. And on Monday, stay tuned for my movie review on the Superman Bros. movie. And stay tuned for my another episode of the Trail Roundup. Goodbye, everyone. And, I, and have a great morning, everyone. And I see you guys tomorrow morning. And I see you guys next time. And have a great Easter.